Welcome to Medicalink. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Let's learn. Hello friends. Now we will talk about inhibitors of TCA cycle, also known as Krebs cycle. So we can remember four inhibitors of TCA cycle. They are fluoroacetate, arsenite, malonate and ammonia intoxication. There are some fluorinated compounds which are used as anti-cancer agent and industrial chemicals including pesticides are metabolized to form fluoroacetate. This fluoroacetate is a rat poison. So this fluoroacetate this fluoroacetate will combine with acetyl coenzyme A to form fluoroacetyl coenzyme A fluoroacetyl coenzyme A now this fluoroacetyl coenzyme A will condense with oxaloacetic acid and will get converted into fluorocitrate fluorocitrate and this fluorocitrate is a potent non-competitive inhibitor of aconitase so this will inhibit aconitase so that citric acid will accumulate so fluoroacetate is a rat poison which will bind with acetyl coenzyme A to form fluoroacetyl coenzyme A. This fluoroacetyl coenzyme A will condense with oxaloacetic acid and will form fluorocitrate. This fluorocitrate will non competitively inhibit aconitase. Aconitase is an enzyme which isomerizes citric acid into cis acotinic acid. So when there is an inhibition of aconitase, there will be accumulation of citric acid. Now next inhibitor is arsenite that is trivalent arsenic. So, so arsenite, arsenite, so this arsenite will non-competitively inhibit alpha ketoglutarate enzyme. It will inhibit alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme. So normally alpha ketoglutaric acid which is a 5 carbon compound is converted into succinyl coenzyme A by alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase by oxidative decarboxylation where one molecule of carbon dioxide is given out and during the process hydrogen is removed which is picked up by NAD plus and gets converted into NADH and H plus. And in the process of conversion of alpha ketoglutaric acid into succinyl coenzyme A, there was addition of coenzyme A. So this arsenite will non-competitively inhibit alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme. So when so when this enzyme is inhibited, there will be accumulation of alpha ketoglutaric acid. And Arsenite also forms a stable complex with thiol group of lipoic acid making it unavailable to serve as a coenzyme so succinyl coenzyme A will not be formed. Now next inhibitor of TCA cycle is malonate. So malonate, malonate will competitively inhibit succinate dehydrogenase enzyme. The succinate dehydrogenase enzyme converts succinic acid to fumaric acid. So malonate will inhibit succinate dehydrogenase. So there will be accumulation of succinate. Now another inhibitor of TCA cycle is hyperammonemia that is ammonia intoxication when there is increase in concentration of ammonia. So increased ammonia can be due to defect in urea cycle. And this will inhibit TCA cycle by directly depleting alpha ketoglutaric acid. So the inhibitors of TCA cycle are fluoroacetate which is a rat poison, arsenite that is trivalent arsenic, malonate and ammonia intoxication. So fluoroacetate will inhibit the enzyme aconitase by non-competitive inhibition. 
and this will result in accumulation of citrate. Arsenite will inhibit alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme by non-competitive inhibition. And malonate will inhibit succinate dehydrogenase enzyme by competitive inhibition. Whereas ammonia intoxication will cause depletion of alpha ketoglutarate substrate. So this was all about inhibitors of TCA cycle. So if you like the video, please do like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.